Hello everyone, this is Professor Maloney and I'm going to be your instructor for the CGS 1060C summer term um, introduction to computers class. For this class, it is running under what we call the MDC Live modality. Um, and to sort of explain that, I'm going to provide a little overview uh, just for a couple minutes on all the modalities that Miami-Dade College provides so that if this is not the modality that you really want, that perhaps you can still change your class, all right? So there are four modalities. The first one is, let, it doesn't matter which one is first, obviously. I'm gonna say uh, this modality, MDC Live, last. So the first one I'll touch on is MDC Online. MDC Online is a strictly uh, asynchronous modality of class instruction which means you never need to be in front of a professor. You never need to be in a classroom. You're taking a class online or you're taking your classes online and you have to do the assignments by a certain due date. And as long as you're doing your work, everything is good, okay? Um, another modality that we offer is MDC Blended. MDC Blended means about 25% of your class sessions would have to be done in front of the instructor at the Miami-Dade College, uh, in, in this case, I'll say Homestead campus, okay? So in a six week mini term session, that would imply basically about one and a half weeks or about three sessions out of 12, you would have to uh, be at the MDC Homestead campus in front of the instructor. And the other nine or so classes you would be doing remotely, meaning online, okay? Then of course there's face-to-face, -face. and face-to-face -face means you have to go to campus, you have to go to a particular classroom, and you're face-to-face -face in front of the instructor every class day. And then there's MDC Live. MDC Live is the only modality that Professor Maloney has taught since the, the pandemic. So going back to spring 2020 when this started, uh, March of that year, um, I've taught all my classes as MDC Live. So MDC Live has characteristics of all of those other modalities, all right? So first of all, with MDC Live, you are required to be on your computer in what I call Collaborate Ultra required class sessions two days every week. And those two days every week are the dates and the times listed in your schedule, okay? So for this particular class, you have to be um, in class basically from 8.20 a.m until 11.30 a.m. every Tuesday and every Thursday, starting May the 10th and continuing until I believe it's June 17th, all right? Now, I have my way of doing everything so that I'm providing uh, live class hours and also optional office hours. And I do it all within that three hour and 20 minute window. Okay, um, so what you really have to do is be in my class from 8.20 a.m. until 10 a.m. every Tuesday and Thursday. So that's what I call the required element. So at 10 a.m., technically, except on uh, examination days, on exam days, the exams don't start till 10. And you have to do the exams, by the way, uh, in front of me, so to speak, again, where you know, you're in your required uh, Collaborate Ultra. In this case, it'd be an exam uh, session. And at that particular time, you'd start your exam. So the exams start at 10 a.m. Each exam, you get 70 minutes. Uh, most people, though, don't need more than 20 minutes for Windows 10 and perhaps 30 minutes for, for Word and PowerPoint. And most people need maybe 45 to 60 minutes for Microsoft Excel, and many students need up to the full, uh, well, for Excel and Access, I let you have 80 minutes, so an hour and 20 minutes. But most students take about half of the, of the necessary time. 
um, in terms of like if it's a 70 minute exam, most people can do it within 35 minutes easily. If it's an 80 minute exam, most people can do it within 40 minutes pretty easily. Okay, but anyway, so you have to be in class from 8.20 a.m. until 10 a.m. If you do not want that, you need to change your class right now, meaning the first day of class, okay? All right, now, so the other part of my 8.20 until 11.30 class time is this. So from 8.20 a.m. until 10 a.m., you have to be in front of me. Again, you're, you don't have to show yourself, um, but you'll be seeing me or you'll be watching a video that I create. I create about a dozen videos for every class, and some of them are over an hour. Um, most of them are at least a half an hour, but I'm going to try to make them a little bit shorter this time, okay? But uh, I'm also, you know, demonstrating things. So some of the, the, the videos are basically designed for me to show you some of the things you have to do in this class, all right? So 8.20 until 10 a.m. And then from 10 a.m. until 10, 19 a.m., um, I'm going to be taking a break. And then from 10, 20 a.m. until 11.30 a.m., that's when I'm in the optional. Optional means not required. Um, optional office hour session. Okay, so on those, you can come if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't need to. They're great to come if you have a question on how to do some training activities. Um, they're great um, to, to come to attend if you have questions about your class grade. But when you're doing projects, projects which you, you have three projects to do for Word, three projects to do for Excel, and three projects to do for PowerPoint, you do not get any help from the professor on those projects but I will demonstrate how to start one project out of those, out of the first, like out of three per word, I'll demonstrate how to do one half of one project. I'll demonstrate how to do one half of one Excel project. And I'll demonstrate how to do one half of one PowerPoint project, okay? And all these videos are gonna be in a folder in our class in Blackboard called Course Videos created by Professor Maloney, all right? Okay. So let's see here. Uh, I do welcome you. I welcome you to this class. Um, it's, it's just to, again, let you know, this class is not cut down because it's only a six week summer term class. You are taking the equivalent work off a 16 week class, but in a six week time frame. So do not think that just because it's a shorter class, that I'm going to be covering less material and making you do less work. That is not the case, not the case, okay? You have a lot of work to do. And so to share that before I actually show you my syllabus, I'll, I'll just say these things, okay? Um, so in the six weeks, you have five exams, five, okay? One exam is on Windows 10, one week later, you'll have an exam on Microsoft Word. One week later, you'll have an exam on Microsoft Excel. One week later, you'll have an exam on Microsoft Access. And the final day of class, you'll have an exam on Microsoft PowerPoint, okay? Now, these exams are not multiple choice. They're not true false. They are you doing what you learn and what I demonstrate from the trainings, the required training activities that you have. Like these things, in other words, instead of asking you how do you, how do you power down a computer or asking you how you insert a cover page into Word or ask you how to insert a chart into an Excel file or how to create a function in an Excel file or how to create a table in a Microsoft Access database or how to create a PowerPoint presentation and expect you to give a like a, a 300 word reply on it, or answer, is it true or is it false? Everything you're doing is gonna be based on trainings that you're getting at the website that this class has most of the material in, all right, or at. Um, so in that regard, the exams are normally easier for most students because you're not having to remember 
all the details, but you have to remember how to do it. And the do it is most people learn better by doing. So I'm going to have a lot of videos in this class. I may have said a few minutes ago, uh, probably between 10 and 15 videos for sure. And many of them will be long. Um, but so one video will be to demonstrate how to do about 30% or so of the Windows 10 training tasks. And those training tasks you're going to be tested on. Okay. Then I'll have another video where I demonstrate how to do um, about mm, maybe about 30 of 120 something Microsoft Word tasks that you're going to have to do. And then another video where I demonstrate about 30 um, Microsoft Excel tasks out of about 135 or 140, I can't remember the number, tasks that you, you will be responsible for doing in Excel. And then the same with Access, I'll demonstrate doing about 30 tasks out of, I think it's 143 or so. And then in PowerPoint, I'll demonstrate doing about 30 out of, I believe it's 155 or so, all right? So I will demonstrate training tasks in videos. I'll demonstrate how to start projects. Um, and everything that you do, other than your bio post, which I'll talk about as I review the syllabus with you, um, is done on this MindTap website. It's a Cengage product. And you must buy your access code by the second day of class, or I will drop you because this class is only six weeks long. So you don't have a week or two or perhaps three to buy something, you know, buy an access code. You need, you're gonna be doing an exam on, on day three. So day one is Tuesday, May uh, 10. So day two is Thursday, May 12. Day, thir uh, day three is Tuesday, May 17. And that's your first exam. And that exam is done on the MindTap site, but it's done based on trainings that open up on May 12th at the MindTap site, which is the second day of class. Okay. And there's tons of work you're going to be doing. So again, if this is not a class for you, especially in a six week mini term session, you're welcome to, as long as you do it, you know, by the first day of class, drop this class and try to take another one that perhaps is the full 12 weeks, you know, meaning a, what we call a C term class. So it goes from more or less May 10 until about July 29th. And that way you're not getting 16 weeks, but you're at least getting 12 weeks. Um, alternatively, take it in the fall when you can do a 16 week session. This class is for students that are extremely, you know, knowledgeable, extremely good on their computer, that have the wherewithal to, to purchase that MindTap access code by the second day of class, and that have the discipline and the organizational skills and the fortitude necessary to work very hard every day, because you only have, again, six weeks of class. All right. All right. So um, I hope everyone can make it and, and stay the whole time. Obviously, you can always go to ratemyprofessors.com to see how uh, Professor Maloney's reviews go. Some people do not like me. Um, thankfully, a lot of people do like me, but you know, it just, it depends, right? It depends. But this is not going to be an easy class, and that's what I wanted to say. All right, so now I'm going to take away the video off me and start sharing my screen, okay? All right, share my screen. Now, in this, I'm going to show you quite a bit of stuff. All right, so let's go over here to our content page. Now, I'm going to actually go into your view. All right, so this is the student preview. This is exactly what you guys will see. Okay, so, and then these are the tabs that you have. I may add one or two additional tabs. I'm not positive yet. All right. Um, oh, I just, shoot, I may have, I, I think I just accidentally did not save because I had not saved my, I'm going to anyway have a tab here for course videos created by Professor Maloney. When I'm demonstrating what that does, I'll, I'll go to a different class to show you more or less how many videos you're gonna have in there, but pretty well everything else is there. So I'm just gonna start with a little overview on each of these tabs that I feel is important, all right? So homepage, when you come into class, you're always gonna be on this page. 
there will be an announcement before class starts uh, welcoming you to the class and telling you that you need to go to this required live collaborate ultra sessions link every tuesday and every thursday for my required classes so what are they well watch i'll click this link now so you click this link and now you're in blackboard collaborate ultra okay this link up here will be locked so you can't do anything there okay this one here will not be here this is just because i i have to create a session to create videos and i create lots of videos but these three links underneath here will be there so the first of these is required live class sessions you see that they go from 5 10 which is tuesday may 10 up until june 14 at 10 10 a.m because my required classes um I may have said, I don't know if I said 10, 10 or not. Anyway, so it's 820 to 10, 10, we'll just say, all right, 820 to 10, 10. And if I click this link, it'll then show you all the individual days. So here's the first one, Tuesday, May 10, from 820 until 10, 10, not yet started. They'll be available 15 minutes before class starts. So you can click in at 805 a.m. And then you know, talk to some of your classmates and stuff. I'll be there by about 817 or 818. Okay, so 510, 512, 517, 19, 24, all the way through June 14. Okay, so that's those required ones. Then next one is the, um, oh, wait, let me just, okay, next one is the optional live office hours. So the optionals start 20 minutes after the required ends. Okay, so from 10 30 until 11 30. So you have one hour but it's optional, or these are optional sessions, meaning you do not need to come to the session, but if you have questions about your class grade, or if you ask, want to ask me how to do something, not for a project, so let me emphasize over and over again. There are, in this class, there are trainings, training lessons, projects, and exams, other than the one bio post, okay? So the trainings are what I will demonstrate to you. Your exams are based on the trainings. Your projects are also based on the trainings though, okay? But the projects are independent, individual assignments. I do not help on those, other than providing you with a video demonstration, probably between 30 and 45 minutes or so each, demonstrating as an example, how to start the first Microsoft Office project. Also demonstrating how to start the first Microsoft Excel project and demonstrating how to start the first Microsoft PowerPoint project. There are no projects in Microsoft um, Access, and there are no projects in Windows 10, all right? Okay, so that's the optional office hour session. Same thing, goes down all the way through 614, okay? So that's the optionals. And then the last one are the required exam sessions. You might say, well, how come there wasn't something for the, you know, the 616? This is it it's a required exam so these are the exam dates june 16th is the powerpoint exam and it starts at 10 a.m and you'll get 70 minutes for it um june 9 is the microsoft access exam it also starts at 10 a.m and you get 80 minutes for it but the latest you can submit it is 11 50 a.m um June 2nd is the Microsoft Excel exam. Same thing. It start, every exam starts at 10 a.m. and you are required to be on your computer in the required live Collaborate Ultra sessions. And in this case, you'll be on the exams link that I just clicked on, which I'll show you again when I uh, deselect it. So June 16 was PowerPoint exam. June 9, Access exam. June 2, Excel exam. May 24, Word exam. And May 17, windows 10 exam okay so to get to those you click that link they then open up you can also click the down arrow on the right side okay all right so that's those now so and then also on here so i said uh, the reason i came here is because i told you you'll have an announcement before the class begins i'll be posting that announcement uh, by may 7 8 or 9 okay meaning saturday sunday or monday one of those three days I'll be posting an announcement, welcoming you to the class and telling you that you need to come to the required live Collaborate Ultra sessions every Tuesday and Thursday. I'll drop you 
if you miss more than two days out of the 12 days for this class. All right. Okay. That's that. So anytime I post an announcement, it's just basically saying either something, you know, uh, recapping where you're at, perhaps telling you that all your word assignments have been graded or whatever, or uh, things of that nature. But I don't, do many announcements instead i do lots of videos and the videos give you lots of information okay all right the next one very important mdc library when you click on mdc library which i just did right here okay it opens up a new link okay and the new link opens up the learning resources center which is the library okay you need to get office 365 student advantage which basically means you're getting office 365 pro plus okay right here and it's highly 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 recommended that you download this to your computer and it downloads for free to your computer okay if you have a mac or a windows computer you can download it if you use a google system they make it very difficult for you to download um, anything on it that's not google so as long as you're smart enough to be able to do it or you, you're knowledgeable enough to be able to do it on your chromebook you can okay but in any event the reason i highly 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 recommend that you download this one is because even if you've got office 2016 um, or earlier uh, you're not going to have all the features that Office 365 Pro Plus, which is also Office 2019 when you download it to your computer, has. And when you're doing projects, you might say, Professor, I followed every step, but it didn't let me add this particular theme color. Or Professor, I added every step in this project, but it didn't let me insert this picture. It didn't show up. And I'll say, no, no, no. If you did what I told you to do, to download Office 365, you have everything you need. Okay, and every project, by the way, you can get 100 on in this class. Every project, just like every training, you can get 100 on. You're expected to get 100 on every training because there's also, I'll talk about it more when I do a MindTap overview video. But basically, um, in addition to the videos I do to demonstrate some of the tasks, every task has a practice and an observe mode, which means you can listen to a video under the practice mode you can hit, you can click uh, to go step by step in a observe mode and then there's an apply mode which you have to do right anyway so that's where the this so that's what this library link is for okay so back up here then we have mdc tutoring now for those of you that would like help or more help okay then this is in person tutoring what I would do here from the MDC tutoring home is click your homestead link, okay? And then in the homestead, from the homestead link, you see these are the tutoring areas. One is NTech and it's CGS tutoring. So you would click here and go through whatever they're asking you to do. You can tutor both online and in person, okay? But you just go through those that link and figure out what you need to do if you need it okay and i encourage everyone to try to work independently but i also encourage you to work together you know to, to like get us a, a, a study partner or whatever but um make sure you're doing your own work okay and i'll talk about that when i demonstrate projects how if you if you think you can just change your name to someone else's name who shared a file with you i promise you you'll get a zero if you do because there's embedded keys based on your student ID and every project at the Cengage MindTap site. You do not want to cheat, okay? All right, anyway, so that's where you go if you have questions about tutoring, all right? All right, so that's those first two. The next one, Smart Thinking Online. I don't do anything with Smart Thinking Online. You're welcome to click the link if you wanna to try to get information for whatever. Now, the next one is Students Start Here, okay? When I do my MindTap overview video, I'm going to have you guys uh, basically register at the MindTap site, which is again, Cengage MindTap. And you need to buy your access code though by the second day of class. Absolutely has to be done. If you cannot do it, do not be in this class. You need to drop it. This is a six week mini term class. I don't like to repeat myself a million times, but I always do. All right. 
Okay, um, so shoot and start here is going to be highly important, but I'm going to uh, show you this one after I review the syllabus, which is next. All right, so here's the syllabus. Okay, so um, you click on the syllabus link and you'll find that there is a Word document link that you can download to your computer if you want. So it's CGS 1060C. 2225 means it's the summer of 2022. Okay, and 1416, that's your class reference number. If you send me an email, as in to jmalone1 at mdc.edu, my name is Maloney, but it's jmalone1 at mdc.edu for email purposes, um, you'll get a reply sometimes within minutes. I promise, though, to reply to every student within 24 hours. That's the worst, worst reply you'll ever get, worst you know, re reply time. But I normally reply within hours and many times within minutes, okay? Um, so it's important to do that. But anyway, if you download this document, then you can have the Word document syllabus on your computer, obviously. But here is the requirements. Again, based on the syllabus, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. I won't read all of it, but I'll kind of go through a little bit of it. So you see here, right underneath my name. So the first thing is, do not call me. First of all, this is my office number, but, but I don't, I'm working remotely. Um, but if you if you do leave me a voicemail there asking me, Professor, please call me, I won't call you, but I'll listen to the voicemail because I've got an email notification. I'll listen to it and then I'll send you an email. Just make sure to tell me which email you want me to send it to. OK, um, but you send me an email, you'll get a fast reply faster than any other professor in the history of the world. All right. OK, um, here are the two things again, the live. So the live remote required class times are 8.20 a.m. every TR. TR stands for Tuesday and Thursday. So it's not Thursday. That's Tuesday and Thursday is what TR stands for at the Collaborate Ultra site. Remember, here's the required live Collaborate Ultra sessions link. And then you click there, and then you click the particular required class session. Okay, that's 8.20 to 10.10. Then there's a 20-minute break, and then... For one hour after that, 10.30 to 11.30, if you have questions, you ask me then. And I'll only be there, by the way, until 10.45 unless there's a student there. I want you to be there to ask questions. So you be there at 10.30 or 10.35, 10.40. If you're not there at 10.45 and no one's there, I'll sign off. Okay. All right. So that's what those two are. They're optional. The other one is required. Right. And again, the exams are done sort of in between both. The exams start at 10 a.m. and they carry over, though, through the optional office hour period. So on the five days out of 12 in this class that you have exams, those five exam days, every exam will start at 10 a.m. And you get 70 minutes or 80 minutes, depending on the exam. For Excel and Access, you get 80. For the other three, you get 70. And But they're all due at a certain time. OK, so if you don't finish an exam within 70 minutes from 10 o'clock, then you you'll get a 20 percent penalty um, and you don't want to get a penalty. Right. So ask me questions in class, but that if, if you have questions. But anyway, so here I'm explaining again the modality. You see, I put the big required word here. So from the 820 to 1010 every Tuesday and Thursday, you're required. Then I say there's a 20 minute break and then there'll be an optional. So you can read this stuff. Then this is just a little bit about me and my wife and our sons. Okay, I'm Canadian. My wife is from Nigeria. Our boys are from the U.S. They're born here. All right. But they're both, you know, uh, dual citizens with Canada as well. All right. Let's see here. So these are just more things you can read. Okay. Now this one here is your course materials link. All right. This brings you to the Miami-Dade College Homestead Bookstore. As I said here, you must purchase the access code by Thursday, May 12th. Okay, you must. Otherwise, I'll drop you. Because you have an exam and classwork that's on the exam that starts on May 12th and the exam on May 17th. Every week you have an exam. So anyway, I'll click this link. Okay. So when it loads up, you're going to see it brings you already to the Homestead Bookstore, but also specifically to this class, CGS 1060C, reference number 1416, and that's my class. Okay, it tells you what it is, tells you how much it costs, and um, you just have to buy it. All 
All right. Now, if you buy it this way, meaning from this Homestead Bookstore link, what happens is they're not going to send you the uh, access code as part of the purchase, but they will reply to you. I mean, like they're going to make you pay for it, obviously, but you'll get it uh, an email reply with your access code within 24 hours of you buying it. So make sure you do that either Monday the 9th, Tuesday the 10th, which is the first day of class, or Wednesday the 11th, so that you have it by Thursday the 12th, which is the second day of class, all right? So you can do it that way, or of course, just go. It's highly recommended you just go to the Homestead Bookstore. So go to the Homestead Campus, go to the bookstore, tell them you're in Professor Maloney, CGS 1060C, reference number 1416 class, and they will give you the access, well, they will sell you the access code, all right? Okay, so that's that, all right? And that was on this syllabus link right here, all right? And then I'm just talking about it again. And I talk about here, and this is the, where I told you, you can, that's the library link to buy the, uh, to, sorry, to get for free Office 365 Pro Plus. Again, if I open this link up here, you see it brings me to the link that I showed you from, from the MDC library link. Here's where that sends you, okay? All right, so get out of that again. Let's see, I don't want that one. You might be saying, what are all these things? I'm always doing things. I'm not, I don't show you all that stuff again. But anyway, we're, we're looking into electric cars right now. And uh, although I have, we have, my car is a hybrid. I, I drive a uh, hybrid. I get 45 miles a gallon. My son, Jared, has a hybrid uh, that he got from his dad. Uh, it's a hybrid Toyota Prius C. He gets 55 miles a gallon. And my son, Caleb, also has a Toyota Prius C he got from his dad. And uh, he also gets 55 miles a gallon. And my wife does not drive a hybrid. She drives a different car, right? All right. Anyway, uh, so where am I? All right, so that was, was going to the syllabus. So scrolling down again. So this was the link if you want to buy the book from the bookstore via, you know, electronically. And this is to get your free version of Pro Plus, Office 365 Pro Plus, okay? Now, this is extremely important. This is where th everything gets important, okay? Um, so your bio post, which I haven't talked about yet, and I'm still not going to really talk about it until I get to the discussion forms link in, in Blackboard, but it's worth 2% of your class grade, but you must do it by the second day of class and maybe even by before the second day of class, okay? I'll see that when we get to the tentative skill, uh, schedule of activities, which is at the end of this syllabus, okay? But so 2% of your class grade is for your bio post. And then these next three, everything's at the Cengage site. Cengage and it's MindTap. Cengage MindTap training. Cengage MindTap projects. Cengage MindTap exams, okay? The two highest weighted though are Cengage projects. Remember I said I do not help you on projects. I help you any time at all on training. Any training question you can ask me and I'll help you as long as it's of course during class or during my office hour session. Um, but anyway, so 2% for your bio, 16% for your trainings. And how many trainings are there? There are 17. One for Windows 10, four for Microsoft Word, four for Microsoft Excel, four for Microsoft Access, and four for Microsoft PowerPoint. So everyone is worth slightly less than 1% of your class grade, 17 of them, and they're worth a total 16%. Now, projects are based on the trainings, okay? So like for Word, there are four trainings modules module one module two module three and module four there are three required projects those are from modules one two and three for excel there are four required trainings and there are again module one two three four and three required projects from modules one two and three and none with access none with windows 10 and there are three required projects though also for powerpoint PowerPoint, there's four required trainings and three required projects from modules one, two, and three. So there are nine projects and they're worth over 30, well, they're worth 32% of your grade, which means they're over 3% each because nine threes are 27. So they're worth more or less, you know, three and a half points each, more or less. Okay. So that is 32% of your class grade and every exam is worth 10%. So cumulatively, your five exams are worth 50%. 
right? You add that up, 50 and 32 is 82, 82 and 16 is 98, 98 and 2 is 100, all right? All right, now here I tell you about the exams. Four of the five exams begin at 10 a.m. Um, on the exam day, and the fifth exam begins at 8.20 a.m. on the exam day as listed, and that one begins at 8.20 a.m. because it's the, it's the last day of class, the, the exam day, uh, the 16th, I think it's Thursday, June 16th. So there's no reason to make you wait till 10 on that day. I just give it to you the very first minute of class. So 8.20 a.m., all right? And I put here about 20% late penalties. You have to do things when they're assigned or you will get lots of penalties in my classes. And you only get it up to a, you know, two days to make something up, all right? So anyway, and again, here I'm talking yet again about the required live class sessions and when they are, and also about the four of the five exams beginning at 10 a.m. yet again and also that there's optional um, office hour sessions too, right? I again mentioned that it's MDC Live. So bottom line is there's a lot of stuff to do, okay? <clears throat> you're, you're taking one exam every week. You need to have that work started immediately, meaning by the second day of class at the latest. I told you about the tutoring. Uh, I recommend you guys, you know, you know, create your own little tutoring sessions. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, attendance and makeup. Again, you can read this thing here. Okay. Um, and attendance is not required for the office hour sessions on Tuesday and Thursday um, from 10 30 to 11 30, but it's recommended that you go there, especially if you have questions. Okay. So there's a lot of work that you need to do. Now, also, the last day to drop this class, though, is already Wednesday the 11th. Literally, it's the day after class starts. So if this class is not for you, and I'm not saying it's not, I'm also not saying that it is, but there's a lot of work. And if you're not real good with technology and you're not real good with Microsoft Word, um, Excel, a little bit anyway, Access, um, a little bit, but it's hard, and PowerPoint, Windows 10. If you're not, if you don't have knowledge on those kinds of things, it's not recommended that you take a six week class where you're getting five exams, literally one exam every week on those hard subjects, right? So you note, you must drop the class by Wednesday the 11th if you wanna switch, okay? And then your last day to drop the class period to get a W, W meaning withdraw, is, is Friday, June the 3rd, right? So that's only like the third week of class. So yeah, don't, and that one you don't get a refund for. All right, so you have to decide what to do. These are the course competencies. You can read on that. And then at the very end, this is now the tentative schedule of activities. So here I'll mention the bio. So I've set this up basically on days. Unit one, I'm calling days one, two, three. Unit two, I'm saying is days three, four, five, six. Unit three, I'm saying, <clears throat> excuse me, five, six, seven, and eight. And unit four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Some things overlap. That's because I can't give you any days where you don't have anything due. So you're already going to start, you know, or having access to start a Microsoft Word on the third day of class, which is May 17th, even though that's the day you're taking the Windows 10 exam, right? So I'll just, for now, rather than go through all the, I mean, the four units, there, it's relatively easy to understand. But let me just kind of, just do unit one, and then I'll talk a little bit more in the first class about the next units. So unit one is Tuesday, May 10, Thursday, May 12, and Tuesday, May 17. That's the three days. So you can call it days, or if you prefer, you can call it from Tuesday, May 10, to Tuesday, May 17. All right, what do you have to do? Well, so you have to do your required bio discussion forum post. It's due May 12th. Where is that? So you go back up here, okay? Let me go up again. Go over here to discussion boards. So you click on discussion boards. And this optional one I'll put at the bottom, this is if you guys wanna chat. I won't answer anything down here, but I let this up. I gave you guys the administrative rights to be able to post questions but it's for you guys to you guys. It's not for me, all right? So if you want to post something there, go for it. But this one, so you have to do this. This is worth 2% of your class grade. So you must create a thread with your bio. Yeah, you must create it. When you click this link, then you'll be prompted to create a bio, uh, create a thread. So you create a thread with your bio, must include two paragraphs. Do not give me two sentences. I said two paragraphs. What's a paragraph? What's well, four to six sentences? So I'm telling you what to do. 
what do I want? Well, your major, where you're from, where you see yourself maybe in five years, what do you like to do? You must include a picture or you'll lose 20 to 40% of your, of your grade because I said you have to include a picture, okay? You also must reply to at least one other student's bio post. Otherwise, you'll lose perhaps 20% of your grade or more because you didn't follow the instructions. So you follow these instructions. Always give more than what's asked right? But at least give the minimums. All right. So if you click this link, then it says, this is a post first discussion form. Remember, I'm in your view. This is your view. So for me to, for you to see the post that I already made, you would have to then click this create thread post. And again, I put the same information about what you have to do. So you would click your create thread and go there. Okay. Now watch, I'm going to get out of the preview. So now I'm in my view. Okay. So my view for discussion boards, and I'll just go to the same spot, but now you'll get to see my post. Can I click that? Okay. So required discussion forums, click here, and you will have to, again, create a thread. But for me now, to see mine, once yours has been posted, then you'd be able to see mine. So you click on mine, and of course, you click on everyone else's. So I'm not going to read all this. Well, let me read the first because I put in bold again. So this is a wonderful opportunity for all of us to continue expanding our knowledge of computers and application software, as well as the internet. In this class, we will be using the Cengage MindTap platform. You must purchase your MindTap access code by Thursday, May 12th, and your first exam is on day three, which is Tuesday, May 16th. Actually, I think it's Tuesday, May 17th. See, I did make a little mistake. Okay. Yeah, Tuesday, May 17th. So let me. Let me actually edit that right now. Where am I? Where am I? Edit. Tuesday, May 17th. Tuesday, May 17th. But now when you see it, it won't be a mistake. <clears throat> okay. So um, you have to you know, do this and uh, you have to buy the access code by Thursday the 12th. And you have your first exam on day three, which is Tuesday, May 17th. So that, I won't talk about me up there. You can see that. But I will talk about my sons and my wife. So this is our son, Jared. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jared graduated from the University of Central Florida with a BS degree in um, aerospace engineering in December of 2020. Okay. He's right now working as a quality engineering in, uh, intern at Horbiger Corporation in Pompano Beach. This is our son, Caleb. Caleb graduated last December, so December 2021. Caleb's actually only 21. He's 21, and he graduated last December, and he's actually working as an interim substitute at uh, Silver Trail Middle School in uh, Pembroke Pines, which is where we live, and he's um, and he is on his way to becoming a full-time high school teacher in either math or chemistry. His degree is forensic science. Uh, he has a BS in forensic science and a major uh, and a minor in chemistry, also from the University of Central Florida. So when Jared graduated, it, it was in the heart of the pandemic, if you will. So he had a virtual graduation. So we just have this one in Caleb's case. Uh, in Caleb's case, this is outside that uh, auditorium that they have at UCF, <clears throat> and that's where his graduation was, uh, December 2021, all right? So you would make a post, include a picture, and then you once you make your post, then you'll go and review other people's posts, and that's it. So like now I say, okay, and there'd be somebody else's post here, and you have to reply to at least one other person's post, all right? All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So now let me get back over here to my syllabus. <clears throat> Oh, I apologize. All right. So go back here, tentative schedule of activities. And I said it's only going to cover the day one through three. All right. So that's where you go for the discussion uh, forum. There's a discussion boards thread in Blackboard. And your Windows 10 training, it's available from May 12, which is the second class day. And when I make things available, except for exams, they're available at 12 a.m. in the morning, meaning one minute after midnight. Those things are available on this day, and they're available until 11.59 p.m., except for exams, on the day they're due. So this means 12.01 a.m., or 12 a.m., however it works out, on Thursday, May 12, and this means um, 11.59 p.m. on Monday, May 16, okay? 
and your exam is based on this, the first exam is based on this Windows 10 training. All right. All right. So again, for sure, day two is the latest you can do your uh, post your bio. Day three, you're taking your exam. Okay. So I put bio post must be submitted via the discussion uh, form link in Blackboard by Thursday the 12th, meaning day two. If you don't do it, you can't make it up. This assignment cannot be made up. Do not be lazy. In this class, you've got to work, and you've got to work hard and fast. Okay? Windows 10 exam is available at 10 a.m. and must be submitted within 70 minutes or by 11 a, 11.30 a.m., whichever comes first on Tuesday the 17th. So the exam must be completed by 11.30 a.m. or a 20% late penalty will be automatically assessed. So you don't come in at 11 o'clock and say, Professor, I'm a little late. Yeah, that's fine. Sure, you're a little late. Um, so I might need a little bit uh, of a grace period. No, the grace period means if you don't submit the exam really by a minute before here, if you don't submit it by 11.29, they're going to charge a penalty at 11.30. <clears throat> so I strongly suggest you get to class on time and you do your, uh, your work on time every day. All right. So then this is be the next one for Word and then Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. All right. All right. So that I think is enough for now. I actually wanted to go over to MindTap, but I'm going to show you the MindTap overview in my MindTap overview video. So have a great day and I shall stop my recording. I shall see you in.